Hey there, it is time for Friday Focus. I am Laura Berman Fort Gang, the head coach and owner of Now What Coaching and the A List Coach.com. So last week was a big week. We had our Career Clarity Reboot, which is our free event that we run a few times a year for people who are trying to figure out what to do with their life. So I coach both entrepreneurs and career seekers. And when I come on Friday Focus, I try to think of like, what's been top of mind? What can I rip right from the headlines? As they say on Law & Order, one of my favorite shows. So rip right from the headlines today is today's topic. Today's topic is sometimes the answer is in the mirror. Sometimes the answer is looking right at you in the face and you don't see it. Not because it's obvious, but because you may not know where to look. Okay. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about... Um, all right, LinkedIn and may not be seeing this, kids. So that's all right. Um, all right. Back to StreamYard, everybody. Okay, so if you can see me on Instagram, I can see you. You can comment. If you can see me on LinkedIn or Facebook, you can comment here and I will see you. Anyone want to say hi? I see the waves. All right, so back to our topic. So sometimes the answer is right in the mirror. And let me say this is not an absolute. This is just one strategy, one thing to look at one place to look. And let me tell you some examples. So you know what I'm talking about. So this week on our career clarity reboot, we had someone talking about how nobody listens to them. They get interrupted. They, you know, don't seem to get the result that they want. And it was interesting that this person would not answer any question that I asked them when we were on this call. They would jump to something else and start talking about it, talk about what interested them. I'd put a question to the group. They wouldn't answer it. They would say something else and lecture us. So I said, you know what? Maybe people don't listen to you because you don't listen. Right? So the answer right in the mirror, it was very, very clear. Sometimes we have to give what we're not getting. All right, let me give you another example. So I was talking to somebody this week who's in a job search situation and they're getting interviews, they're putting resumes out there, and they, they're they complaining that nobody knows what to do with them. No, like There's so many things that they could do, so many ways that they can serve an organization, and no one knows what to do with them, and they're not getting hired. Look in the mirror. I asked her, do you know what you want to do? Are you pitching yourself? Are you messaging yourself to these interviewers in a way that they know what to do with you? The answer was no. I'm kind of saying, you know, so many things I could do. I could do anything. That doesn't work as a strategy when we're trying to get someone to see us as the right fit for a job. So the answer was in the mirror, right in front of her, right? So she had to give more of what she wasn't getting. Be more specific if people cannot figure out what you're trying to say. All right. Now, I also work with entrepreneurs, as I told you. And sometimes there's a catch-22 with coaches, consultants, people who are service-based businesses. They might complain that nobody is paying my fee. Nobody wants to hire me. Um, you know, people are not investing in themselves. And one of the first places I will look is in the mirror with them. Look in your mirror. Are you investing in yourself? Are you getting the coaching that you need? Are you getting the support that you need? And oftentimes, if we're not valuing our own development, we're not investing in ourselves, and then we get angry that someone's not investing in themselves to hire us, answers in the mirror. All right. So like I said, this is not necessarily like a blanket strategy. It's a place to look. If things are not going the way you want, look at what some of your biggest complaints are and say, hmm, do I have to give more of what I'm not getting? So that's Friday Focus for today. Do you need to give more of what you're not getting? That might be exactly what the answer is. Look in the mirror, folks. Hopefully you like what you see. Have a great weekend, and we'll be back next Friday with Friday Focus. Thanks.